Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Shani. If you guys didn't know, and today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial using products that I got in PR. I was going to save these products to do an actual PR video, but I didn't feel like waiting that long. And I was just sitting here looking at all this new product and I was just like, I might as well just go ahead and film a tutorial using the products that I do have. So yeah, that's what I came up with. I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows and prime my eyelids off camera. I have a video on how I do my eyebrows and prime my eyelids. So if you guys want to see how I do all of that, I'll link that video in my cards. And before we get too far into this video, make sure you guys are subscribed. Turn on your bell notifications so you guys get a notification when I upload a brand new video because sometimes YouTube don't really be telling y'all. If you guys need another form of notification that doesn't involve YouTube, you guys can follow me on Snapchat and Instagram. I notify you guys on there when I post a new video. So yeah, let me do my eyebrows and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm feeling kind of extra. So I think I really want to create a for real eye look. So we already know what color I'm about to go in with. Brown spirit from MAC, you know, like you already knew what was coming, you know? So we're going to go in with brown script because like I said, I want to create like a for real eye look. And I'm using my Morphe M330 brush. This is a different brush that I don't typically use for my transition color, but my other brushes are a little dirty. So we're going to use this one. It's basically a blending brush, but it comes to a point. So I'm picking up brown script on my brush. Tap the excess off and I'm going to go into my outer corner and blend it inward. I'm feeling like a dramatic mermaid vibe coming on because of the package Becca sent me. Let me show y'all real quick. Hold on, hold on. This is the Ocean Jewels collection from Becca. And low key, my nails are kind of going with the vibe of the package. Yeah, let me show y'all how the eyeshadow is looking. So this is the packaging. I love the packaging, it's so pretty. And this is the eyeshadows. I was tempted to stay on the neutral side of the palette, but I was like, girl, no, like do something for real. Like what you doing? So I am going to be using this eyeshadow palette amongst other eyeshadows because I do want to create an actual look. Now I'm going to take Never Say Never from MAC and take this in my crease as well because I want like a pinky vibe behind all of the eyeshadows that's going to be on my eye um, because I know I'm about to use a lot of eyeshadows so I'm gonna take this color where's the brush that I need okay so I'm gonna use the Morphe M441 brush love this brush it's kind of stained right now but you know it's okay that's my nephew in the background screaming he know he need to be asleep probably should have just started with this color but I wanted some warmth to his eye look you know This is the Morphe M532 brush, and I'm gonna take this and blend out the edges just to make sure everything is blended. Okay, so as you guys can see, I went off camera to do this side. So I went into the Becca palette, and I'm taking this brown color right here, and I'm using my Morphe M514 brush, and I'm gonna take this color and blend it into my crease, and I'm adding a little bit of pressure to build up the intensity, and I'm still using my circular windshield wiper motions. Circular motion is what's going to blend this color out, and windshield wiper motions is what's going to build up the intensity as well as applying pressure. Not a lot of pressure because you don't want to hurt your eye when you're doing this. Just add a little bit of pressure so you can build up that intensity. And I'm focusing this color right in my crease if I didn't already say that. And I'm bringing it to the inner corner. So as you guys can see, this brown is on the cool side and it's a little zor. I don't know why my shoulders keep creeping up like that. <laughs> All right, so as you guys can see, that's how that brown color is looking. And it's really dark, the pigmentation is there. Um, it is on the cool side. So what I did, because I didn't expect it to be that dark, I'm taking I'm Into It from MAC, which is another dark color, but I took that to blend it out a little bit more. So I'm taking I'm Into It right over that brown color in the palette and blending this out a little bit more. And I'm applying a little bit of pressure as well. Now 
now that that color is down, I'm going to backtrack and I'm going to take that pink color I was using, pop it right back into my crease so I'm not losing any layers. Now I'm taking the M330 brush from Morphe and I'm taking brown script and we're going to pop this color right back up here as well. I'm trying not to cover up my brown bone too much. Okay, now for my mobile eyelids, I'm going to take Fawn from LA Girl, LA Girl Pro Concealer. I have that on the back of my hand and I'm going to mix it with the NYX Multitasker Mixing Medium because this makes my eyeshadows transfer resistant. This is literally my best friend. I cannot do a eye makeup look that involves any type of glitter or or satin or shimmery eyeshadow without using this because if i don't it's just going to be a creasy mess so i have to use this so we're just mixing it mix 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 i probably look so focused right now we have it on our brush and i'm using the 242 brush from mac and i'm gonna go in and cut my crease And I'm just gonna blend it into the rest of the eye makeup. I'm gonna take my Sigma E55 eyeshadow brush. This one right here. I'm gonna take this color right here, which is like a duochrome eyeshadow. I'm packing it on. Like I need this color to be real pigmented. And it's actually really pigmented. Mm. Now I'm going back and blending out these edges. Now I'm going to take my eyeliner. I'm not doing a wing. Lining my eye with just a little bit because I want this look to just be focused on the eye makeup. So I'm just going to add a little bit of liner. And since my battery is about to go dead, I'm going to do my mascara and lashes off camera okay girl okay i'll be right back so my lashes are on and i have on the dragging lee lashes from noobsome and i also used the big shot mascara that shayla created so yeah that's what i used for mascara to prep my face i'm using the mario badescu lavender spray just to like go along with the theme that we got going on you know what i'm saying and then becca sent over their foundation and their velvet blurring primer and you guys have already seen this primer but i was kind of scared to use it so we're just going to use it in this video with their ultimate coverage complexion cream so yeah and the foundation is in the shade mahogany so we're gonna prime the face first i don't know whether to put this on with my hands or to put this on with a brush i don't really <laughs> i don't really like the i don't like the way this feels okay all right let's take it up here this primer is super, super watery, but it does have that blurring property in it. I see what they're getting at, but I don't know if I'm a fan. And I feel like it has a little cast to it. Oh no. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna cover it up when I put on foundation, but listen. I like my skin to look a little perfect before I put on the foundation. That primer made my forehead really matte. And you all know that I'm not a fan of matte foundations. Like, I wouldn't even want my base to be matte. Um, I don't like the way that look. <laughs> all right, let me spray my face one more time because that forehead is a little too matte for my liking. And I picked up another primer. This is the Benefit Professionals Primer. 
and I've seen a whole bunch of people use this but I never like went to go pick it up so I was in Ulta and I was like ooh let me see how this primer works because a lot of people seem to like it this primer looks like it has a cast as well what is up with these primers having a cast it looks really good I did feel in my pores really good so moving on to the foundation where where did i put it okay so we're just gonna go in with the foundation i'm pretty sure this is a pretty thick foundation because it says cream i don't know if i want to blend this out with a sponge or a brush okay so i'm blending it out with this elf brush oh this is super red <laughs> why okay let me just let me just work with Oh, oh wow, wow, um, wow, this is really red. Okay, so before this dries down too much, I'm gonna take my NYX Total Control Drop because it's right here in front of me. I'm gonna put this on the butt of the Beauty Blender. I'm trying to hurry up so this foundation doesn't dry down. But I do like the finish of this foundation, but the color grow, mm-mm. I might be able to work with it. I really love the finish though. This finish is boom. Like my skin look like butter. It doesn't feel heavy at all for it to be a cream foundation. Um, I feel like the coverage is medium to full coverage. It might just be full coverage to be honest. Now I'm taking the Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm using that same Fenty Beauty sponge to set my under eye. And I'm just pressing this in until it disappears. Take it around my mouth because this area likes to crease. Okay, so I wanna go ahead and finish off my eyes. So I'm going to add another layer of powder just to catch any fallout that we might get. And I'm going to take Never Say Never from MAC and put this on my bottom lash line. So I'm taking this eyeliner. It's just a black creamy eyeliner. And I'm gonna take this Real Technique little tool. It has like a sponge applicator and I'm just lining my bottom lash line. And now I'm gonna take this side of the brush. I'm taking Corrupt from Makeup Geek. Okay, so I'm gonna take this highlighting palette that they sent in the package and I'm gonna take this pink color right here and highlight my inner corner with that. This looks magical. Okay, so I'm gonna do this eye off camera and I'm gonna come back and finish off my face because I still have to contour, put some highlighter on, probably some blush, and the lip is gonna be neutral, I already know that, so. Yeah, let me finish this, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm setting my face with the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder in the color 60 Deep. Now I'm going to contour with the Fenty Beauty Scoop <laughs> in Espresso. And I'm using my Morphe E4 brush and the brush that I just used, this brush is the E44. I'm taking the M407 brush to contour out this nose a little bit. So 
So I'm taking this blush, which is Desert Rose for MAC, and applying that to my cheeks, and then the tip of my nose. All right, okay. Now to highlight, I'm going back into that palette. Where did I put it? Oh, right here. Okay, so I think I'm gonna take this gold color right here, that one, apply it to the tip of my nose just to see how light it's gonna be. To set my face, I'm taking the Sasha Fix It Spray. This look actually came out cute. <gasps> Dude, I forgot that I got the Nikki Tutorials. Um, Where is it? I forgot that I got this. Oops, I just broke the packaging. Okay, so I got the Nikki's Ofra Collection. So thank you so much, Ofra, for sending this to me. I totally forgot I had this crap. Let's see, I'm gonna add a little bit on top. Okay, so I wanna add a little bit of warmth. So I'm taking the orange right here. It's really orange. Ooh. Whoa, that is really beaming. <laughs> I really like it. This looks so good on my skin, y'all. Y'all probably already knew I was gonna go with a glossy nude lip because that's just shiny, you know? And then I had to put on something a little cuter to end off this video. So my lip color is the Cream Sheen Lip Glass from MAC in color Delight. And I also paired it with the lip glass from MAC of course and that's what you guys are seeing so this is the finished look in its entirety and i really like how everything came together like grow <laughs> there was a lot of stuff that i liked the foundation was a little too red so i'm happy that the sephora powder kind of brought it brought it down a little bit because it was like really really red um other than that i really like the finish of this foundation i just really wish it was my color the becca primer i'm not really a fan of matte primers which is probably why i didn't like it it really didn't mess up the makeup look i still like the finish and everything like i literally keep looking in the mirror the highlight it looks glassy and wet i love it the ofra highlighter that i put on top it's stunning so nikki definitely did her thing on the highlight because it looks really good um what else what else what else the eyeshadows <gasps> y'all know i'm an eyeshadow girl so the eyeshadow palette is beautiful like i love all the shades in it i can definitely do a neutral look or i can definitely do a dramatic look like this if i want to all of these eyeshadows were really soft to the touch and they have good pigmentation to them and they had a little bit of fallout um the ofra liquid lipsticks the metallics, I'm not really a huge fan of the metallic, but if this was a little bit darker, I probably would have loved this because it's pink. I love pink. I don't know. I'll probably still try to use this in one of my videos. But yeah, this is the only color that I would probably wear in real life. The other ones, I'm not really a metallic lip kind of girl. It's either a new glossy or matte or dark. I'm, I'm not really with that. I really hope you guys like this video. Everything will be listed down below in my description box. And I will see you guys in my next video.